One of the most iconic Rome Total War units is the Phalanx. How many times have you set up a custom battle with a few of those holding the side of a bridge? Or had a siege where they secure the gate single-handedly? Phalanxes are by far the most pleasurable unit to use in all of Total War, especially when they're as good as they are in Rome. I even made a video on this specifically. But, as this channel is a Total War history channel, how accurate are they? Not in strength, but today I wanted to look at their length. The length of a phalanx. How accurate is it? Because in Rome Total War, it does look quite long. Okay, so what you're seeing on your screen now is a standard hoplite unit. Uh, quite a long spear he's holding there. Uh, this here, uh, the spear used by a hoplite, is known as a dory. And these are usually between 6 foot 7 to 9 foot 10 in length. However, on average they were 7 foot 9. Like, that seems to be the general average. Okay, so let's get this image and let's break it apart. Let us separate the phalanx, the spear, from the actual soldier himself. Now it's time to get into a little bit of mathematics, because that's just how fun we are on this channel. So let's count how many humans is it? It seems like three humans minus one head and neck. That is the length of a phalanx in game. But what is the average size of a human? After doing a lot of research, it seems like the average size of a male during Roman times in Greece was 5 foot 7. That is the average, taken mostly from like uh, bone records. Okay, so we got two of them plus another one but minus the neck and the head. But how much actually is a neck and a head on average? Okay, now to find this out, I had to look around in the arts, like how people do portraits, and find out how long it actually is. Um, you know, in a, in a portrait, I thought that would be the best way to get, you know, an average. Uh, because this was actually very difficult to find. This is the best source I could find. It's one foot one and a half, but we'll ignore the half. We don't have to be too perfect here. So that's one foot one which ends up giving us 4 foot 6 for this man here. So if we were to add all of these together, all of these men on top of each other, 15 foot 8 is what it comes to. The phalanx in Rome Total War for Hoplite, the length of their spear is 15 foot 8. Now the absolute longest, remember, were 9 foot 10. Those were the longest. Average seven foot nine. So this is all this is over double the length of the average length. Okay, after doing a lot of research and even measuring on myself, two foot two is roughly the length of the legs. Uh, actually just probably a little bit lower. It's always difficult to tell, you know. This is not gonna be perfect, but I'm trying to get as close to perfect as I possibly can. Okay, so what I did was I copied a copy of the spear, uh, but cropped it down to be the exact same length of these two people here standing up, who represent 7 foot 9 in game. Then what I've got to do is I've got to make this person hold the spear. The spear's bottom is here, near the human's bottom, which makes it easy to remember. And if we do this here, this is a 7 foot 9 spear. This is how long it should actually be in game. In game, it's actually up to there. So yeah, quite a big difference. For those who are curious, the front line of the spear, uh, well, the back line is there. The front line does end here. It should actually end here. And then the second line should end about here. Third line end about here. That's how it should be in game. About half the length when it comes to hoplites. But in Rome Total War, there is a unit with an even longer spear. These are known as pikemen, um, who as you can see, theirs is much longer. What these are called here are the sarissa, which average between 13 feet 
and 20 feet long. So yeah, let's go through this again with the same measurement. Um, I'm going to assume here that a Greek person is the same height as a Macedonian person at the time. You know, they're close enough. So let's assume they are 5 feet 7. And they, this time it's 3 people plus a fourth minus the head. If we were to add all of these up, that is 21 feet 3. 21 feet 3 is the length of this pike. Now, if you remember what I said, the Sarissa, the average length is 13 feet to 20 feet. That is the average. So this being 21.3 feet, oh, sorry, 21 feet 3, I don't work in feet, I'm used to centimetres. But this being 21 feet 3 is not actually that bad. Historically, it would really, at, at its peak, be around here. Yeah, I've actually got an image for that. Historically, its peak would be here. Um, and the absolute minimum would be here at 13 feet. Now, there are actually records of a pike being used, a Sarissa being used uh, by the Seleucid Empire and the Egyptians. That is 22 feet 1, uh, which will put it a bit more, yeah, a bit more up here. So there is a longer version, but from the best of my understanding of sources, these were a little bit too long for soldiers and a little bit too unreliable, so they weren't that popular and used very rarely. So yes, there you have it. That is a basic breakdown of phalanxes in Rome Total War, the length of the spear, because I really had nothing better to do today. If you enjoyed this, please do let me know. Please do like the video, share with someone else, maybe even subscribe. If this does well, I'll do the same for Medieval 2, maybe even Rome 2 Total War. See their lengths, how accurate they are, and compare it to Rome 1, if you want to see that of course. In conclusion though, and I want to make this conclusion very clear, before you comment, please do listen to this conclusion. I love Rome Total War. It is a brilliant game, and having this really OP unit, it does make it fun. As said at the start, it is pleasurable to use. I love these phalanxes, and yes, they are inaccurate, but does that really matter? Yes, I have a history channel, my, my role in YouTube is to look at the inaccuracies of games, but sometimes these inaccuracies are what makes them fun, and we've got to remember that. We cannot hate on the game or the developers because of these inaccuracies. You know, sometimes it makes them more fun. But I also think it's fun to actually look around, try and find these inaccuracies, and have a bit of a laugh where we can. The Sarissa was actually shown very accurately. Um, it was, of course, too long, but it wasn't that bad. Uh, the door River, that was a little bit too... Yeah, that was a bit too much. But overall, I just want to make it clear, I do love that Rome Total War does this. Makes them longer, because it makes it more fun. I don't get that same joy out of phalanxes in Rome 2, uh, which is a big weakness of the game. But of course, that is just my opinion on Rome 2 and Rome 1. So again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I do hope you've learnt something maybe. Uh, that's what this channel is all about. Uh, please do subscribe for more. I've been Melkor, and until the next one, goodbye.